Greetings, brethren. It's that boy the donkey, and it's that time again to have a beer. And today we shall be having Red Stripe from Jamaica. Not really. This is another locally licensed one, and it's brewed, I think, by uh, yeah, Heineken in the Netherlands. Ugh. We'll have it anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the thing with this one is, I'm pretty sure I've had this before a long time ago, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. So this will basically be a first uh, tasting because I, I don't remember having it. I do like the little medicine fat boy bottle that it comes in. Very, very adorable. Um, it's only a, only a small beer, so we have a small glass. We are dealing with a lager, of course. Well, not of course, I suppose, but it is a lager. Come on. You fit in there. Don't, don't, don't be a bastard. I knew you would. All right. Not much of a head, but more than Heineken. So that's, that's a start. Uh, oh, you know what? The smell is actually really all right. Hmm. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of um, just your average sort of German Pilsner. So yeah, not not too shabby. Let's let's have a go. Okay. Uh, it's quite light. It's um. Hmm. There's not too much going on after the initial taste. Um, I think the the initial flavor though is pretty good. It's it's um, honestly it does remind me a little bit of Heineken, but um, it's not as it does leave more of an impression. I will say so. I I, I would not be too upset if somebody poured me a pint of this, but on the other side, uh, on the other on the other hand. I would also not make great offerings to the gods because it's not. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's a four point seven percent, which uh, I would say is on the is on the lower end. Uh, and I am um, yeah. See, I was I, I I was about to say it and immediately read the ingredients to to um, to confirm. And yeah, uh, it does taste a bit sugary, so it has that sort of hint of. Um, Sort of North Americanness to it, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, hmm. Okay. There's one other thing that that I have not actually read on a bottle before, but I will admit I have not actually read uh, a lot of labels of American beers because usually uh, American stuff that gets imported they get big stickers glued over the original uh, um, um, thingy, the original stuff. So, um, yeah, this says it has, it has hop extract in it. So it's not actual real hops. It's just like, you know, like orange juice concentrate, but hops. So, hmm. Not a fan of that. But... I will say it is definitely more pleasant than um, all of the American beers that I've had so far, or all of the sort of commercialized American beers that I've had so far. Um, would I get it again? No, because the more I drink of it, the more annoying that sugar taste gets. Um, at least it doesn't have that, that disgusting corn syrup aroma, but I still don't like it when beers have sugar in them. It just doesn't... It just doesn't sit right with me. It makes them taste weird. And the more you drink of them, the more you get that really, that same sort of gloopy mouthfeel that you get from from drinking sugary sodas. And I just don't like it. I just, ugh, I just don't don't enjoy that. It's um, it makes me want to drink less of it. Um, so yeah. Um, the the thing is, the funny thing is, now that I have had it again, I still don't really remember how what I thought the first time. 
So interesting. I I don't know. This this just kind of disappeared in in the memory hole. But um, I don't know. It's all right. It's. It's definitely not as bad as Heineken, I will, or as generic as Heineken. It's it's it has a, its eccentricities, I suppose, in that it is a bit weird, weirdly sugary, and um, is definitely more lagery than what Americans consider to be lagers. So, I suppose that's all right. But yeah, I still I don't think I would have this again. Um, it's a drinking beer. I mean, you can definitely just get rid of it, uh, and you'd, you'd be like, mm. and you could keep, you could keep going if you could deal with the with the sugary taste. But um, yeah, other than that, it really, it really doesn't do very much for me. So I think I'm only going to give this. I think I'm only going to give this a one point five out of ten. I think um, it is not as bad as Heineken, or it's not as generic as Heineken. It's 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 interesting and it's Jamaican, but um, it's definitely not as good as Bex would be. Uh, and I gave Bex a two, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, uh, just kind of yeah, not the best. But I don't know. I mean, if you're if you're in the United States and you can actually get this. Uh, I, I would certainly recommend this over uh, Miller, uh, Budweiser, and Coors. Those are the North, the oh, and Molson. Uh, those are the American ones that I've had. So I would recommend that this over those. But apart from that, it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard no for me. All right. I hope that you will all have just a shorter episode today because. Uh, I got some work to do now still, but uh, I thought I'd, I'd do one more so that uh, I wouldn't get into trouble and not have a video at some point next week. But yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. And please join me again on another day for another beer. Take care, guys. <laughs>